Hi everybody. Just a brief video today to look at a concept that may be new for a number of folks. For other folks, maybe if you've used MAP for a while or Civil 3D, it's something you've seen before. The concept is around being able to attach a file, an external file, to or maybe multiple files to objects within our, our model. What that'll allow us to do is, you know, if we think for a minute, have you ever wanted to select something and maybe see a picture of the object or select something and drill down and get some specs about that object or maybe select the object and pull up a Word document that has or an Excel spreadsheet or maybe even open another drawing file. All of these things are possible through the concept that we're going to look at today. So let's start with the assumption that I would like to select this uh, hydrant and pull up a photograph and then maybe also do something similar with the parcels here. Uh, the reason I set the drawing up this way is to show that this concept works not only with AutoCAD objects, but also with Civil 3D objects as well. So that's quite nice, gives us some flexibility to assign things to things like parcels or points or other objects that we've created within Civil 3D. So to begin, I've got a drawing here that has some parcels on the screen. I've got a hydrant, uh, also a signpost, which are just standard blocks. I've got a folder that's sitting on my D drive right now in a uh, folder name called content that has some pictures that could be associated with these parcels and then you'll see I've got a couple for the uh, the objects maybe a legal description and then I've got one generic one I made that's called no photo available none.jpg none.jpg and you'll see how that could be important here in just a minute so let's go ahead and get started first thing I want to do is I'm gonna enter my commands in at the command line there are four that we'll be working with today Rather than drilling into the menu, depending on the workspace that you currently have set up, or if it's set up for Civil 3D or Map, whichever the case may be, it may be in different locations. So rather than picking around and maybe run the risk of it being different on your system, I'm just going to type the commands in. That way you'll type them in, they'll be exactly the same, and then you can maybe navigate into your particular environment to see where it might exist in the ribbon or in your interface. So first thing I want to do is I want to define a data table. So as, as I start to type the command in, some of these will pop up on the screen. So we'll do ADE def data. That will allow us to build a table that's going to hold an attribute, if you will, it's actually called object data, that uh, will hold the name of the file or the uh, external object that we're going to go out and select. So we're going to build a new table. We'll just do something simple right now. We'll call it content. The field name in this case is going to hold photographs. The type I will set as character because it's going to hold a text value. Uh, I could give it a description. For right now, photo will be descriptive enough. Default, I'm going to say none because that will coincide with the none.jpg, none uh, the default blank photo that I've got off to the side. The idea being that uh, nothing has photos associated with it right now. So if I attempt to view something, it would come up and show me the photo that says none. So we'll say add. That's added to my new table, and we'll click OK. All right, that's all that I need in this, this case right now for content, so I'm going to close that. The next step is I'm going to attach this table now to some objects within my file. So that command is ADE, and I'll start typing attach, and we'll see that there's only one command that matches that criteria. So we'll say ADE attach data. It's going to ask me to select the, the table. There's only one. The object data field that I would like to uh, maybe populate if they were different things. I've got that selected. You see the default is none. That's fine. We're going to go ahead and attach to objects. I'm going to select my objects here. We'll select the four parcels and my two sign objects because we'd like to associate things, photos, with, with all of these right click and that's complete. From there if I select my object and we'll come in right click and look at properties I'll scroll down to the bottom and we'll see that there is now object data the table content has been associated with this and it's got a value for the photograph that reads none. Alright so we've built the table we've su successfully attached it and now what I need to do is build the linking mechanism that's going to allow me to now view the data that's uh, that's in that field. So to do that, we'll use our third of four commands, ADE. We'll start typing it in def for define doc view, and as we do that, we see that the list uh, gets 
shortened up and we see ADE Def Doc View on the screen. So I'm going to select that. Here what I'm going to do is I'm going to define basically this is how I'm going to uh, hook that file and then connect it to the appropriate application to be able to view it. So we'll say this is going to be view photo. I could give it a description. For right now I'm not going to worry about that. Expression, where should it go find the file? Or where should it find the, the name that I would use for the file from the object? So I'll drill down into my object data and grab the photo attribute that we created. I'll then come down under my directory. I'm going to browse to my D drive where I have my content stored. And I only gave it the name none because the extension I will put in here, in this case all of my photographs will have a JPG extension. And then I'm going to give it the command line of the application I would like to use to bring up or view this file. In this case I'd like to use Internet Explorer now, because I don't know exactly where on my hard drive the executable is for Internet Explorer. I'm going to come down and right click on the taskbar. I happen to have Internet Explorer that I can select here, right click and look at properties. Basically I'm going to go to a shortcut that launches the file and then I'm going to grab from that the information that I need to navigate to that file. So I'm going to copy that to my clipboard. I'm going to paste it in here at the command line and we'll click on add. We'll say OK and I'm all set. From this point forward I need only execute the command that's going to tell that I would like to view any associated documents. That command is ADE doc view. I now select the object and when I select the hydrant it automatically brings up Internet Explorer and it shows me my default photo that says no photo available. Um, I'm going to hit the up arrow so I can repeat the command. I'll select my parcel. I get the same thing. So at this point, maybe even before, I could start populating those values. So if we go back and look at our photographs for the parcels, we see that they're all called DE, or I'm sorry, DSC00 in the, the property number. So we'll add this to a couple of them. We'll select the parcel. We'll go over into properties, and I'm going to set that to DSC007. We'll then come down hit escape to drop that parcel, come over to properties and set that in this one to be DSC008. Alright, once those values have been associated we can now go back and use our same command. I'm going to use the up arrow to navigate back to previous commands. It gives me ADE doc view. Select object. I will now grab my parcel. It automatically shows me a, a view of that one. I'll come down, we'll repeat doc view, select this guy, and I see a parcel of the, the lot that's on, on that per the house that's on that property. Okay, now some folks may be thinking, well, you know what, maybe I could do this with a hyperlink. One of the limitations of a hyperlink is I can only link to one thing at a time. Because I'm working with tables here, I can actually link to any number of things that make sense for the data that I'm working with or the objects that I'm working with. So let's say with my parcel, in addition to wanting to see a photo, I may also want to see other information like a legal description. So let's do this. I'm going to add a legal description. I'd probably create a new table, maybe have a table set up specifically for parcels. But for this example, I've, I've got one table called content. We'll just add it to that. We'll do, go back into uh, ADE uh, def data to define my data. I'll go back to my content. Uh, table and what we'll do is we'll modify that. We'll add a new field now. We'll set up for legal um, DESC for descriptions. It too is going to hold a value that's going to be character or text. I could give it a description. Default I'm going to say none as well. I'll add that to my table. All right, in doing so, once again in this example I'm doing this quickly. It's going to assign legal description to everything. Probably not the most appropriate thing for a hydrant or a, a signpost, but you'll get the idea. Um, if we want to separate things into separate tables, maybe one for parcels, one for signs, one for hydrants, and then have specific things we'd like to view about each one, we could easily do that. I'll click on OK. We'll close that. Now if we select our property, we'll come over and look at the list. We now have a 
value that's uh, available to us immediately because we've updated the table definition. The name of the legal in this in my content folder is legal-07 and then .txt. We don't need the extension because we'll do that through the viewer. So next thing, let's uh, update our uh, definition for our document view. ADE, we'll say define doc view. We're going to add a new entry now into this for view legal. Description, not worried about that for right now. Expression, we'll drill down and select the new value we created. Same folder, new extension, in this case it's txt. And then the command line we'll use to launch Notepad. I don't have an icon quick to grab, but I do know where that is. So that is on my C drive down underneath Windows, down underneath System32. And then I can put Notepad in here, and it'll find the executable. Fantastic thing about this, we can navigate to uh, Word, as I said before, Excel. Uh, I believe you can even launch AutoCAD if you want to have one drawing linked to another one. We could use it for this as well. Let's add that to our list. We'll click on OK. We now have two options available, so that if we go ahead and execute the command for ADE doc view. I can, oops, I'm sorry, not define doc view. Let's arrow up and we'll do ADE doc view just because we want to view it when it asks us to select the object. Because there are multiple ones available, we can now view the legal or the photo. So if we click on view legal, say view, it automatically brings up notepad. We see the information that's associated with that. If we view photo, it would give us the information with the photo. And if I, once again, create additional items, I could do that as well. As I mentioned before, this is one of the benefits of doing this over a uh, hyperlink uh, because I can go through now and I can link to any number of documents, go to any uh, or content, if you will, any external files, and I can use whatever applications are on my system to be able to open up and uh, either view or edit or work on that, uh, that information. So with that, there's some sure some folks watching this that, hey, is there an easy way to add these commands to the menu? Or maybe even, hey, is there an easy way that I can maybe put these values in a, a database and I could link to those automatically rather than having to update them individually, maybe having a parcel index number. Uh, I use that and then I go out to a database and then can pull information from there for my legal or my photo or um, maybe some uh, uh, field data that was uh, used or shot as a part of that, uh, that site. The answer to both those questions is yes and it'll be topics that we'll go through on, a, on another day. So for right now, uh, this will give you the opportunity that you can start to link to external files, drill down and be able to quickly access or leverage data within your system from within your model directly, whether that be photos, legal descriptions, or any other data you can think of. So hopefully this helps. Thank you for your time and attention, and we'll talk to you again soon.